Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl Sweets. Okay. To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. And to my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do, boo. I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you guys for staying down and tapping in with your girl Sweets. If you're new to the channel and you're just stopping by, I'm going to ask that you to go ahead and energetically donate to the channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and click that post notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video and each and every time I go live. Last but not least, go on ahead and click that subscribe button, baby, if you're not already a part of the Sweets and Muted Soul Tribe. Because what? We would love to have you. Okay, and to my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do. Boo! I appreciate your love and your loyalty, and I appreciate you guys for staying down and tapping in with your girl sweets. So, we're gonna tap right into the energy, get a quick message. This will be a blackout reading, I will not be on camera. Um, and yeah, <laughs> let's see what spirit got. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I'm going to just tell you, I don't even know. Maybe I, don't, I might not even pull the cards. I mean, I got them in my hands, so I may. But, I'm going to just tell you out off the back. Um, some of you guys take what resonates, leave what does not. Some of you guys, you could have three masculines watching you. <laughs> Thank you. From your past that's thinking about you. And you can have three feminine energies um, watching you. It's three masculines from your past and three feminine energies, karmic friends, that's watching you as well. Um, one of these masculines in particular... He and his feelings, because you just seem to be this person that transmute, <laughs> I don't know, whatever energy or pain that you went through, whatever it is, you, this person can't, they can't handle how you just move on from things, basically, right? I don't know if there's someone that wanted you sitting around loathing in misery or whatever the case may be. But they, it's something about your strength and your courage to keep going. This person, they can't take that. They, they don't like how you transmute the pain, okay? They intimidated by your ability to transmute energy and to, you know, just be courageous and keep going. Um, what else is I getting, spirit? What else am I missing? What else am I missing? I don't know. We're going to see. Let's pull a little bit and we'll see. Um, oh, okay. I know I'm going to say because I know with several things. Um, the progress that you're making, keep it. Keep your moves and the progress that you're making, keep your moves quiet, okay? i just seen that in the cards, but... Uh, okay, other thing. Past person, right? Take what resonates again, leave what does not right this is not going to be for everyone so spirit was showing me that there's a masculine energy okay you could be this masculine energy or you could be connected to this masculine i don't know but there's a masculine energy who basically met a female from social media because he was posting and, you know, flexing and living the life. Um, shades could be significant because when Spirit showed me, he showed me some designer shades. But I can't remember. I can't remember what what brand the shades was. But right now in my third eye, I'm seeing the, the like the Burberry symbol. So I don't know. That could be significant. But... Whoever this person is, he met this female on social media. The female, she could have been married or, or in a connection. Either way, I, either way it goes, I know. she met. He met the person on social media. They got entangled, slept together. This masculine did not sleep with this female protected. The female 
got pregnant. I don't even think during the pregnancy she told this masculine that she was pregnant. This masculine doesn't find out that the baby is, that he's the father in question until the baby is already, um, is already, what's the name? <laughs> I'm with the name, Mom. I'm recording. I'm recording. Um, I I don't think so. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, he met a female on social media. Now, there was something significant to the female being banned from social media. Um, so her account may have been locked or she may have been in, you know, what is it? Facebook jail, Instagram jail, whatever you want to call it, right? She may have been banned from social media or her account had been suspended due to a nude photo okay now that is specific because that you know that 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 is specific okay something about a nude photo and someone getting banned for a new photo right so part of what i was picking up was as if these people may have slept together and then kind of went their separate ways in a sense of ha no longer having that interaction on social media due to the female's account being suspended or banned, right? But in the process, she ends up pregnant, has this baby, and once she has the baby, somehow or another, she comes across the masculine and she says, hey, you know, remember the time we got busy? Well, guess what? I had a baby and this is the baby and you the daddy. So, um, what I was being shown was the masculine goes and tells his friends, like, hey, this girl over here is saying that I'm her baby daddy or whatever the case may be. Now, the irony in this, right, is that um, the child, okay, she, this, whoever this female is, she does have another child, right? She, um, it looks to be like she had two sons, basically. Um, but it was so crazy because the older child, um, kind of fit the description of this masculine, you know, right? And like the masculine's family members or whatever the case may be. Um, the actual baby in question, not so much, but you never know, right? <laughs> Confirmation with that lighting up over there. You never know, right? Um, but I know the first child that the female had was from a previous relationship but i heard specifically marriage right so this may have been a female who was actually married um what else what else what else am i missing what else am i missing youtube could be significant i don't know if this person is um if the person that was like flexing or whatever the case may be on social media um, if this person has a YouTube account and posts on there or not, but YouTube was significant, um, in a sense. Uh, what else, what else, what else am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, how, how can I miss this part? So, the irony in this whole thing is that this is a masculine child, right? In question. The masculine already has a son, Right? And if it boils down to the child being his, then this masculine will then have two sons with the same name. And no, they don't have his name, right? These kids aren't juniors. But these children, if that, you know, the baby in question is proven to be this masculine's child... He'll have two children, but two of his sons would have the same name. His oldest child and wherever this other child fits at in the sibling line would have their, um, the same name, right? So, 
that that'll be you know this is how you'll know this is your if this is your story or not because that is significant right um and the thing is you may say well how does that happen um the female from what i gather she didn't necessarily know um that the child that this masculine may have had a child with this particular name because like i said there was something that separated the two there was some sort of separation it was like a a fling a hookup and then boom they was back to going about their business right and then if their only means of contact was through social media this female was banned due to something with the new photo so that's how they kind of lost contact is what i'm picking up right or what i gather right um from what spirit showed me is that these people they lost contact somewhere along the way due to her no longer being on social media and i mean it may be as simple as them coming across each other again at a gathering or at a party or at some sort of festival because this masculine was out with his friends when they came in contact from what i was shown right this masculine was out um with a group of friends and said hey and went back because from it was like he seen the girl right after not seeing her for a while or whatever and she says hey you know whatever yeah i got this baby and you know they yours you know we got this baby he then goes back over to his friends and say, yo, this girl over there said that girl over there saying her baby mine or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So the baby was already here. He It was like he, he may have even been, been oblivious to the fact that she was even pregnant because there was no contact. Because I feel like their primary means of contact was social media. And to him, you know, this is a raunchy man. It was wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. He didn't think he was going to see her again or this was going to be a situation. So, yeah, um, that could be significant, okay? Um, but like I said, this woman has two children, two male children. The oldest looked to be about, um, you know, however old. But either way it goes... Um yeah, there there there's there's this is happening, you know. And at first I didn't even know if if spirit wanted me to put this message out, but then I ended up uh coming across something that I previously um a reading that i previously did and i feel like the two are actually linked okay because it talked about unrevealed um babies okay and i'll put the link to that reading in the description box below um and that one was actually from like a year ago but just in me coming across it and listening to it i'm like okay makes sense these two are tied together and in that reading um in that reading um it spoke of exactly what i was recently shown right it spoke of someone sorting out another person based on the image they were putting out on social media Right, so the female may have actually sought after this masculine, right? Um, that reading also discussed how this masculine met a mirror to himself, right? So he may be someone who seeks out women for his own benefit or his own purposes, whatever the case may be. And he kind of came across a female who sought after him based on whatever he was posting and flexing on social media, thinking that you know he was worth something and lo and behold he ends up finding himself in a trap all right because in that reading i was picking up um where it was stated was that both of these people were false people right so take that where it resonates leave what does not okay i'm gonna
gonna pull a few cards and then I'm going to just get off of here. Cause I, yeah, I feel like maybe that's the spirit wanted me to put out. Okay. So some okay, yeah, look, <laughs> this is just of mice must men. Okay. So someone, yeah, look, this is a father figure, okay? So someone, okay, someone's baby daddy or old daddy, however you want to take it, okay? But this emperor is lonely, okay? They could be in their feelings. They're holding on to their money, okay? With the of mice, less men here, this is someone with multiple children, okay? So like I said, um... These could be tied together because in that, even in a recent, um, I think a short that I had posted, right? There's a recent short and in that short, it talked about discovering a new birth due to, uh, child support being filed, Right? So basically, someone finds out that they have a new child because someone files for child support, right? And then here, I have this message of concern. So that could be significant to someone. Now, take away a resume. You could be... You could be a masculine energy or a father figure, and you could be um in some sort of position of authority and you could actually have a feminine energy that is i don't know expressing their sadness expressing the fact that they are lonely okay that could be significant um so that's kind of like being in a relationship and still feeling um lonely which does happen i myself can say that i experienced that um I was in a relationship for several years and still felt like I was um, single because my partner wasn't present physically, um, not often physically, um, mentally, emotionally, and, you know, every so often, or not even every so often, but, you know, if anything, they were more present financially than they were physically and emotionally. And that still wasn't enough, right? And to be honest, the only time they were really present physically is when they couldn't really show up financially, right? Like, when the money was a little funny, that's when they wanted to be, you know, my lovey-dovey. Take that where it resonates. But either way it goes, whoever, yeah, <laughs> whoever this person is um, that... Whoever this individual is that's go dealing with this situation where they met this person on social media, they were scrolling and yeah they 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 scroll past and chose the snake now it's one of two things right this part of me feels like this female sort of after this masculine. But another part of me do feel like this masculine may have sought after this female. Either way it goes. We know that the two were, um, you know, pulled towards one another based off of their energy. Their lustful energy, the snaky energy that they both, you know, embody. Because whatever he was doing, he was pump faking right he was posting he could have been i'm looking right here with the marion for the money he was posting his coin coin he was posting this is somebody yeah look <laughs> cyberbully in abundance he was posting his money on social media um could have been posting whatever he was posting something that made this female say hey let me go towards this one okay hey let me go towards this one got the bag right it was something that he was posting whole time somebody don't realize that they went towards a slithering slimy snake 
right? And this could be this masculine going towards this woman, you know, and she was a snake or vice versa. Either way. You know, they could both feel betrayed in some way. What else, spirit? Yeah, look, legal issues. So there's definitely some sort of court um, case significant in these court issues. Could be this child support, okay? There could also be legal issues um, with this marrying for money. If this is an actual marriage, someone here could be getting a divorce. Whoever this snake is, is, is um, lazy. They're opportunists. Okay? So this is the thing. This is why, if this is the same situation, right, where the masculine and female hooked up through social media, this female could have went after this masculine because she seen what he had and felt like, you know, all she had to do was tie herself to him, possibly had his baby by him, take him to court for child support. She was going to get the money on, and she was going to be able to sit back on her ass and not do much of nothing. That's what it's giving me. I ain't going to hold you. Okay? That's for someone. Yeah, but learning here. Okay? They're learning a lesson that going towards people for money, yeah, ain't really, ain't really it. It ain't really it. It ain't really going to work out in your favor. Okay? Um, this also makes me think back to an old reading that I posted before that talked about um, got pregnant by him because he had money only to have a baby and find out he broke or something like that. It's something like that that was the title, but it was in reference to yeah, confirmation with this lighting up. It was in reference to someone going towards another person because of what they seen on social media thinking that they had a bag. Only for this person to get pregnant by this individual, have a child by them, and realize this person ain't had no bag at all. Okay? You're being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Okay? Trade curiosity for knowing. Okay? So... <clears throat> someone here is learning to change that about themselves right if you let's just say you're a female and you think that you're gonna just be going towards men because of what they got for their money you're learning that like someone's learning a harsh le lesson basically that yeah you can't do that because it's not gonna ever work out in your favor you know chances are even if it does in the beginning it's not going to work out in your favor spirit will show you that hey you know you know you're a little delusional over there i'm saying that because you got delusions right here you're a little delusional over there um you know your way of thinking is not the right way you're going after people for the wrong reasons if you think you're going to be over there using people i'm going to show you that it's not going to work in your favor okay so that's significant for someone Someone here is, 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 someone here is learning a harsh lesson. Now, on the other hand, I am seeing, I'm seeing a feminine energy who could have several kids that could have went after a masculine that they thought had, um, money, but they may not have realized, right, that this masculine, one, was a snake, and two, he wasn't a stand-up person. He's not about his business, right? This is not a hardworking individual. This is not someone that, you know, you can live a stable and comfortable life with, right? You, The female may actually be more hardworking than the masculine is, you know? This may be the type that's going to stay home and watch the kids while you go out and bust your behind. And, you know, granted, we are in different times, whereas though there are stay-at-home dads, but, um, you know, I feel like there's a difference from literally being a stay-at-home dad 
than being a lazy and effer who just wants the female to work and be the breadwinner, right? You know, a stay-at-home dad, if that's the case, your house is going to be clean. You're going to have dinner on the table. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. You know, things are going to be in order. They still, in some way, bring something to the table. I feel like this person here, you come home, they're going to blame everything on the kids, okay? They don't have no control, no order. Um... They just, they just raggedy. You get what I'm saying? Like this person just ain't, uh, just, this is someone who's just not rather a team player. You get what I'm saying? They just want to look the part. They may, they may look the part, you know, and just because you may want someone that looks the part, they may give you what you want. They may provide the look, but what's actually needed is not there and as i say that i know over here one of my world truth cards the top card says you chasing what it looks like but what it really is isn't going anywhere right so someone could have married someone who got into a relationship with someone chasing what it looked like maybe y'all look like a pebble couple maybe y'all look like this maybe y'all look like that but deep down inside okay behind closed doors it wasn't really none of that okay none of that absolutely none of that right now, if you're a female that has several kids and you go towards this man thinking that you could live a stable life, this is someone who is, you know, going to help you raise these children and lead them in the right direction. Wrong, right? Absolutely wrong. Someone is learning that they chose wrong because this person ain't that. Okay? This person is not the type that's going to do any of that. This person will lead your kids down a rabbit hole. Okay? This person is a sneak. So we got rest. Okay. Yeah, look. The, the rest is just some sort of jackpot energy. Okay. And this could be due to some legal issues. Someone could be intimidating another person. Okay. So someone could be um threatening another person. Threatening to take another person to court. Okay, someone could be saying, Oh, oh, you think you hit the jackpot? I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you to court. You think you got all this money? I'm gonna take you to court. That could be significant. Okay, someone is threatening another person, threatening to take another person to court. To put an end to their finances. After realizing that this person... Okay, so take away resonance. Someone here could have had children with someone that maybe when you had children by them, they were up, okay? Or they had some sort of financial wealth. Whatever takes place, you learn that this person is not who they say they are and they don't necessarily really take care of their children, that they're snake and they're lazy and they're not about their business. right or you just learned that yeah this person may have a bag but they don't take care of their kids they're snake so then you threaten them with taking them to court it's something about that it's, it's something like that someone is really not as goal driven and determined as they may try to make themselves appear okay and I feel like someone is realizing that. Someone is realizing, Dag, I went towards this person for they bag and for what they had. And because they was flaunting all this money on social media. But this person ain't even really that. You get what I'm saying? So someone may be, you know, learning that you you can't necessarily... You can't be so surface level. You can't be so materialistic. You can't go by what you see on the outside because inside, it be grinding. You get what I'm saying? Just because it look like a go on the outside, yeah, on the inside, it don't be, it don't be green. It don't be green. And if it be green, it don't be that good green. It be some other stuff. Okay, be <laughs> some other stuff. Okay.
Now, take away it resonates. Someone there could be a female getting a message um, from a masculine saying that he he wants to be alone. I don't know. Take that way it resonates. That could be significant. Yeah. Sperm dumpsters. Yeah, so somebody... I don't know. Somebody... Yeah. Huh. Somebody child's father could be telling them that they don't they want to be left alone or that they're leaving them. But this is only so that they can go off and be with somebody else. We got sperm dumps to engagement ring patterns, ace of swords. This could even be a masculine who goes towards women of such. Right? This could even be a masculine that goes towards women that has multiple kids, right? Acting as if they're going to, you know, be there for them or they'll help them or whatever the case may be. The whole time they is a lazy leech. And they're going to dump one off and you and go about their business. Somebody here has the patterns. It's patterns, right? So you need to pay attention to... You need to pay attention to... This person's patterns, basically. Like, you need to sit back and analyze their connections. Um, or what they've... Yeah. All right. Um, what they've told you in reference to you know, one from one connection to the next. You get what I'm saying? There's something there. If if you sit back and analyze and pay attention enough, you'll realize that, I don't know, you'll realize that it's a pattern that this person has when it comes to their relationships or their, you know, their, their children. There's something. There's a pattern. There's definitely a pattern. There's definitely some sort of pattern. This could be the type of person who, you know, maybe this is individual you get with them. They put the blame on the person that they were with prior to you right that's one thing i used to always tell you know um one of my children's dad like and when it's all said and done don't go around lying on me acting like you know i was the problem when you know what role you played you get what i'm saying and i can honestly say for me I picked up on the pattern quick, but I picked up on the pattern too late because I had already, you know, we had already conceived the child. But one thing that I will say, I never forget that um, his first child's mother said to me, I don't know what type of father he got you thinking. Hold on. Hello? My bad, sweet love. <laughs> um, oh, God damn it. What was I saying? <laughs> I got thrown up. Okay, so 
Um, yeah, I never forget that, you know, one of my children's dads, um, their first child's mother had said to me, like, you know, I don't know what type of father he has you thinking he is, but he ain't that, right? And, you know, she said whatever she said as to why she felt that way. And... Needless to say, she wasn't wrong, right? Like, needless to say, there was only a matter of time before I realized why she had the viewpoint that she had, why she felt, why she was, you know, standing on what she said, he ain't what you think he is, right? So this could be someone who makes it seem as if they're this golden opportunity that they're this golden you know great parent and all this and that so you and that they you know their children's mother or the dad right because i could be speaking to a masculine that's dealing with the feminine energy let's not get it twisted here um that you know the person they have their kids with is the problem and this and that and you know whatever the case may be whole time it's them whole time they don't do what they need to do, right? whole time they're a lazy sack of crap, you know, and they're not a stand-up person, right? And instead of getting themselves together and becoming a better person and parent, they just run off and say, hey, I don't want to be with you no more, or I don't want to be bothered, or things not work out, or they get left, whatever it is. And they just go engage with someone new, dump their sperm off in someone new. And it's a continuous cycle. So it's something, something here is a cycle, right? Something here is a cycle. If this is a person that has several children, pay attention to the patterns, right? That could be as simple as you having a conversation with this person saying, wait, so tell me again now, what happened with you on your first day, mother? Oh, okay. All right. I got that. And then what happened with you and your second baby mother? Oh, okay, I got that. And then what you said, what was the third one? Oh, okay, I got that. And, and, and the fourth one? Oh, okay. I understand. Got you. Right? Now, based off of what this person conveys to you, you're going to be able to see that. Bro, you saying the same story about all these people, all four of these people, right? So, if you got the same story about all four of these people and all your stories are pointing the finger at them, chances are what? You're really the big problem. So, this is someone who could neglect to take accountability for their actions. And this is not someone who will stand up and, and, like, this is someone who will run on you before they stand and take a look in the mirror and fix themselves all right that's significant but i don't know i may come back i'm going to close this out though um i'm going to close this out that's what i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this message okay if you're interested in the person who reading my information is in the description box below okay if you haven't already please turn your post notification bell on so that you're notified each and every time i upload a new video and each and every time i go live and if you're not already a part of the sweet from you the soul tribe we would love to have you going ahead and click that subscribe button baby love and light to each and every one of you guys good day and um, like I said, be sure to check out that reading that I am going to pin in the comments, okay? Love and light to you all. Good day.